Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. I'm um, just kind of out and about uh, doing my warm up for uh, run number one today. I want to talk to you guys about a little something something. The other day, I received an email from uh, Leo. You guys might know from my uh, zero hour work week video. I'll put the link of that in the sidebar. Basically, he emails me saying uh, how he disagrees with me going into the military and that I should uh, just try to get like a small efficiency apartment in the city, find a job, sell some of my stuff to pay for things, and just uh, save up for a year. I haven't emailed him back yet, and I probably won't. I just don't want to focus too much energy on trying to convince people that, you know, what I'm doing is the right thing. I mean, I've tried doing that before, and uh, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I can kind of make people understand what I'm doing, but for the most part, it's just, eh, they've already made up their mind, so there's no point in trying to convince them otherwise. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, you know, why I'm joining the Navy. I kind of touched on it in uh, some of my other videos, but I guess I never really dedicated a video to just coming out and saying, you know, what I want to say. Basically, you know, I am joining to get some life experience, because, uh, I've noticed uh, for quite some time now that my blog hasn't really quite been uh, what it should be. Even though I've tried to write some interesting stuff and talk about some interesting stuff on my vlogs, it just, I don't know, the quality just hasn't been there for a while. And I really can't let my blog uh, go like this. I just kind of sat down and uh, took a long, hard look at my life. Thought about the things that I want to experience, like going to Japan and filming uh, my exploits there, which might seem frivolous to some, like Leo, for instance, but it became all the more relevant, I believe, uh, after the passing of Roger Swan, because, I mean, if you think about it, even though he's gone from us, you know, his videos are still around, and I hope that they're going to continue to be around for quite some time. So that way, uh, if anybody's interested in going to Japan, they can look at his videos and see what he's done and to get an idea of uh, what's in store for them. And other people's videos too, not just Roger's, but I'm just using him as an example. The reason I really like making videos is, you know, a little bit of the whole legacy thing, you know. If something were to happen to me, you know, I kind of like my blog and uh, my videos on YouTube to kind of remain in a posterity, I guess. So that way, you know, my friends and my family can kind of see what I've been up to and uh, I don't know, kind of see the real me just because I, I feel that I'm not really expressing myself fully towards them. And I feel kind of bad for doing that, but on the other hand, there's a lot of stuff about me that, you know, either they're not really interested in, like the whole anime thing. I try to kind of keep that on the down low in front of them because they kind of just see it as, you know, weird Japanese cartoons. So I'm not gonna bash them over the head with it. No, I mean, if they're interested in it, then sure, I'll talk about it, but I don't really see that happening anytime soon. And I just kind of keep to myself mostly as far as like my interests and what I really want. Getting back to the subject at hand, which is uh, why I want to join the Navy. It's mostly just to kind of start a new life, really. Which is, you know, one of the main reasons why most people join the Navy. I mean, there's the whole serving your country thing and getting education benefits so you can go to college and stuff like that. Which, I mean, I'm joining it for that too, but it's mostly just to kind of start a new life because at this rate, I don't really see myself really going anywhere. I mean, if I weren't going to join the Navy or do something drastic like that, I didn't really see myself going anywhere. I mean, sure, I could get some kind of uh, part-time job at like a fast food restaurant, maybe, and uh, scrape by, you know, taking one class at a time at a community college until some far date when I graduate and get an associate's degree. Might get more pay or a slightly better job, but I don't know, it just seems that my rate of growth would just be incredibly slow if I were to take that path. And I might not even be able to go to Japan. Because, I mean, that's that's kind of my ultimate goal. And I know it seems like I'm setting the bar low for myself, but right now that's my goal. I mean, I might have something completely different lined up for me down the road. When I think about stuff like that, it just... Things get cloudy, and it's just not really a pretty sight. You know, I did that before in the past, and it hasn't really worked out for me, so I'm trying to do, like, a short-term, you know, couple of years planning instead of what I'm, what I'm going to be up to when I'm 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. You know, none of that stuff. Because that could all change at the drop of a hat. I mean, you guys seen it before. I mean, heck, in 10, 20 years, I might not even be interested in Japan. 
I mean, that's kind of hard to say right now. But it's a very real possibility. Yeah, I'm basically just, you know, joining the Navy to get some life experience and to some work experience, too, because, I don't know, after being at so many jobs for such a short amount of time, my resume is not looking so hot. At least the good thing is with the Navy, for the most part, unless you've done, like, some heinous criminal acts or whatever, you know, you're pretty much hired. I mean, there's also, like, a bunch of technical medical stuff that you have to go through. But, I mean, for the most part, just about anybody can go into, like, the military. You know, I'm still fairly young. I'm not, you know, straight out of high school anymore, but I still... I'm pretty young. You know, the four years of active are only going to be four years of my life. So I'm going to be, you know, 28, 28, 29 when I get out. I'm still going to have a full life ahead of me. Yeah, when I get out of the whole active service thing, I'm going to just go back to college. If I really do like the whole Navy thing, I might actually sign up for the uh, officer program after I graduate college. You know, if you thought the, Navy, the regular Navy benefits were awesome, officer benefits, well, commissioned officer benefits are like hella awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's another possibility. That's kind of, you know, my whole thing is just keeping myself open to possibilities. But I don't want to be too open to possibilities because if I'm too open to possibilities, then I can't get anything done. You know, I try to keep my focus as much as I can, but at the same time, you know, try to look around me for anything that might be interesting. Yeah, I know it's been, this is, you know, I've kind of rambled on, but basically, you know, I want to join the Navy, get some life experience, so that way I can tell you guys, you know, something interesting. So, and also, you know, being in the military looks pretty darn good on resume, especially considering you spent four consecutive years there. So, what would I say to uh, Leo if I were to, uh, write them back. Basically, I just say, you know, thanks for writing me, especially, you know, a really long and a very thought out letter. You know, it's not just like a quick little email, you know, Andy saw you fucking tarred, you know, just get a job and stop bitching already. It's not like that. I can definitely tell he uh, took some time, you know, put some real thought into it. Yeah, I'd basically just say, you know, thanks for writing. I appreciate it, but, you know, I really feel strongly about going into the Navy and uh, just starting a new life. Because, you know, the way this one has been has been going so far just isn't really cutting it for me anymore. The whole going from job to job to job just isn't cutting it for me anymore. And I know I hate using the whole in this economy excuse, but especially here in the Midwest, I don't know how it is for, you know, everybody else out there, but especially here in the Midwest, it, it's especially hard to get a job. It's not possible. I mean, like he said, you know, 90% of people are working. You know, it's not impossible, but it's still pretty darn hard. So I'm basically just going to be uh, training for the Navy. And uh, so far I've lost uh, around 14 pounds, which is good. So I'm close to my 15 pound goal. Not sure if I'll reach it by the time I get weighed, but you know, we'll see. Just going to work out as much as I can. Uh, try not to eat um, after supper. That's a big thing. I've really noticed that uh, if, if I eat any time after supper, that's, you know, when I really start to gain weight or nothing happens or whatever. So I go into MEPS on, uh, technically I go in Thursday. I go in, I stay at like a hotel for the night. Then uh, I get weighed on Friday. Get weighed and measured and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I hope to get the, uh, the good word back. I'm not sure if I'll get, like, my deployment date, you know, when I'm going out to boot camp, because I have to pass an initial physical test before I can even set foot in boot camp, which is another reason I'm training. Yeah, basically, after I get back from MEPS, I'll probably have my uh, date to take the physical test. I'll just be training really hardcore until uh, until that time. I think the second phase of my training is going to focus a lot less on uh, weight loss and a lot more on performance. My goal for the uh, physical test is to get at least uh, 60 push-ups, 60 sit-ups, and uh, run the mile and a half in at least uh, 12 minutes. That's my goal. If I get any, if I can do more push-ups or run in a shorter time, great. But I just want to get up to that point. On Sunday, I just, you know, timed myself to see how fast I can actually do it. And I got down to about 16 minutes and 24 seconds. I kind of knew I wasn't going to pass it, you know, but I just wanted to see kind of where I'm at. Just to kind of get an idea of how much training I need. I mean, I only need to knock off about four and a half minutes, so that's definitely a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought I'd 
take like 20, 25 minutes. Definitely in a lot better shape than I've been in a very long time. I think I'm actually in better shape now than I was, you know, even during the summer when I was biking like 30 miles a day. <laughs> it's just kind of sad, but you know, when you're not working, you're not really doing anything, you just tend to sit around, go on the computer, you know, watch TV, watch stuff on the computer. I don't really eat a lot. I mean, I'm not sitting there with like a bag of chips, just, you know, munching down watching the family guy. But trying to put that behind me and just, you know, try to eat right and uh, work out a lot more. And, you know, it's really doing good for me. In another video, I'm going to basically show you guys or tell you guys my workout. It's pretty bare bones, pretty basic. But I thought I'd show you guys anyway since I lost close to 15 pounds in a month. I mean, that's it's got to be worth something, right? This is the Andy San signing off for now. And uh, see you next time. Bye.